Hi guys, my name is Carly Finley and I work for Stimscopes as a math project manager and this is my daughter Madison and today we are going to be learning about comparing and ordering numbers. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to start out with a hook. So. And to do that we are going to watch a little video. Yes. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's make it big. Yes. So that they can see it. Do you like to play video games? I, I like to play <laughs> video games. <laughs> All right. So what did you notice about that video? Um, they were playing video games. Okay. And one of them won and one of them lost. Because, oh. Because one of them, like, put his head down. Yeah. So when you're playing video games with your friends, how do you know who wins? It, pro it probably tells you, like, player one or player two won or something. Because you had the highest what? Score. Score. So you have to compare each other's scores yes. in order to find out who wins, right? Right. So that's what we're going to learn how to do so that next time you play a video game, you know how to compare the scores and know who wins. Correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to move on to an explore so that we can gain those skills in order to come back and figure out um, how she can do that. So... Have you ever been to a stadium before? I have. And so how many seats do you think were in that stadium? Probably about 2,000, 3,000. Yeah? So what if I told you that our local stadium has 75,000 seats in it? I... That's a big number, isn't it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so today what we're going to do is we're going to compare um, the number of seats in stadiums all around the United States. Okay. Okay. So... Here is your student journal. Okay. So I'm going to show them what that looks like. All right. So this is where you're going to be recording your information as you're working through this. So I'm going to go ahead and write my name. That's a great idea. Then you have the stadium chart here that has a list of all of the number of seats for each stadium around the country. Very good, Miles. <laughs> So if you go through, this has all the stadium names and then the number of seats that are in each stadium. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do first is we're going to compare your hometown stadium. How many did I say? 75,000. 70, no. Yeah, 75,000. <laughs> I, can't, I can't talk today. For some reason, I all cannot right. talk today. So we're going to take our dry erase board, and I'm going to let you do this. Why don't you... Write 75,000 on there. And I'm going to pull up her virtual manipulative so she can use the place value disk to help her. We're going to put that this is full screen. Okay, I wrote my number. It. Okay. Let's make us bigger. Yes. We're so small. We're so tiny. We're so small. Okay, so, so can you use the place value disk to build? <laughs> 75,000. What number do we get? Oh, 75,000. 75, okay, use the place all you just to build 75,000. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to build 75,000. So we're going to do seven ten thousands. Okay. One, two, three, oh, wait. Three, four. Five, wait, okay, five, six, seven. Okay, so I built seven ten thousands, mm -hmm. and um, I'm gonna build five um, ten thousand, I mean, one thousand. Okay. So she's building them up at the top because she's going to yes. add the second number mm -hmm. on the bottom. Yeah. All right, so yeah. that's 
75,000. Can you yes. write that number into the place value chart? Yes, I can. Me just <laughs> 75,000. <000. laughs> okay. I'm just gonna write like, no, don't draw the picture, just write oh, the wait. numbers. Uh, okay. You already have your place value just. I mean, I mean, that's there we go. Okay, seven. Zero, zero, zero. The reason you want to show them how you did it. Yes. The reason I add the zeros is because it shows value, even though it has well, it There's has no value, but you still have to show it because what if I erased all those zeros? That wouldn't make a number, right? Just 75. Okay. So what? we are comparing your, your hometown stadium, which has 75,000, mm -hmm. with Sanford Stadium. Okay, okay. so Can you find that? Sanford Stadium, we have it right here. Okay, can you read the number for them? And the number is 92,746. Okay, can you build that with your place value just? Yes, I can. Wait, they have the marker. I can draw a line. Ooh, I like that. So it doesn't get mixed up. Yeah. Okay, now put put this down. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um ninety-two thousand. Ninety-two thousand. So we're gonna do nine ten thousands. Okay. gonna take a little while. It is gonna take a little while. I feel like we need Jeopardy music. Yes. I'm not gonna sing though. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> keep going. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So okay. 92,000. 92,000. So what comes next? Um, I'm going to add two thousands. Okay. Which is not going to take a little, a little while, thankfully. Okay. 700. 700. One. While you're building that, the reason we're using the virtual manipulatives is because we don't have place value disk at home. Um, I could probably have her draw um, base 10 blocks, but this is a lot more fun. 700. Five, six. Okay. 46. 46. So I'm going to do four tenths. Oh my god, what did I just do? <laughs> um, got it. And then 46. 46. So I need to do six ones. Mm. What I just do? Make your way back up there. How many do you need? You need six. Okay. I don't know. So I got two. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Five. There should be like music in the background. Yeah, I'm I'm like a sloth over here, so just right. I'm, I'm taking my time. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, you lost it again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Yay! Yay! Okay. What if I lost it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So use 
your picture with your yes, manipulatives yes. to help you, right? Yes. And I also want you to write that number into your place value chart. Write the number. 92,746. Where? 92,746. 92,746. Okay. Done. So, use your picture. Use your place value chart. Mm -hmm. And let's compare the numbers. So where okay. do I start? How do I start at? Well, I always start at the the um, ones. You start. With Wait, no, ones? no, no, no. I start with the ten thousands. Well, the biggest um number on one. Well, biggest place value. Yes, biggest okay. place value. So in this case, it's what? Um, ten thousands. Ten thousands. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up. Okay. And let's use this to cover. Yes. So if I'm just looking at the ten thousands place, yes. Which number is greater? At, um, nine is greater. Okay. So, so that means <laughs> which of these numbers is greater? The second number, the <laughs> the um, Stanford Stadium. Okay. And so has more seats. How did your picture help you figure that out too? Well, because first of all, if we look on there, the Stanford Stadium has way more um, value because we have um, nine ten thousands, two thousand seven hundreds, four. Very good. I like how you use that word value. It has more value. Okay. So how would you write that using comparison symbols? Can yeah. you write a number sentence? Yes. With these two numbers using your comparison symbols. What do I mean by comparison symbols? You mean like, um, the, <laughs> what is that called? Oh, it was red. Um. <laughs> I forgot. Mm, so it's the G. <laughs> Greater than? Greater than and less than. And? So one equal to. Very good. Okay. So okay. Write a sentence using a comparison symbol in those two numbers. As fast as you can. What? All right, so um, while she's doing this, we are only going to do one set. Done. Just so that, <laughs> that you don't have your comparison symbol. Oh um, Just so that Done. <laughs> we don't make this video too long. So yes. in this case, they would compare a lot of these stadiums, a lot of these numbers, and write those comparison, those comparison sentences. Okay, so she has, can you read that for me? Not, I can't even see. 92,746 is greater than uh, 700, no, no, no. no. I told y'all I can't speak today. Seven thousand seventy-five. <laughs> seventy-five thousand. Very good. Is this the only way to write it? How could you write it a different way? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? No. Can I just switch the symbol? Is that gonna make sense? No. Okay. What could I switch though? You could switch the Okay, try the it and see, see what you get. Okay, talk, talk to them. I'm boring. <laughs> you are boring. You're so mean to me. Talk to them. <laughs> Already stare at them, that's fine. I swear this video is going to be like an hour long. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs>
the student. Okay, so now what do you have? I'll hold um, it up for them. We have 72. Mm. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> 75,000 is less than 92,746. Very good. So I'm just I like gonna, that. I'm going to show, hold on, I need the piece right. of paper. Because I might not. Very good, thank you. I'm not Okay, so now we're going to fast forward to the math yes. chat, part of the explore. Yes. And just go through some questions. Okay. You ready? Yep. So how did you know which number was greater or less? Um, because I looked at the, th um, the um, 10,000. You looked at the 10,000? I looked at the 10,000. So what is that called? Oh, the place. So the place. Yeah. What was that V word that you used? Value. Value. Very good. Um, what would have happened, though, if the same number was in the 10,000s place? What would you have done? Same number was in the So let's just say that there was a 7 here and a 7 there. There was. What would you have done? She said this. What 7 was here and 7 was there. I would have looked at the next um, highest value place. Very good. So what tools did you use that helped you? I used the place value chart. Okay. We used the greater than, less than, equal to signs. Mm -hmm. And what was the manipulative that we used? <laughs> remember that virtual manipulative? Do you remember what those were called? Yes, they were called place value disk. Awesome. So if you'd had those in the classroom, would you have used them? Yes. Very good. So what do you know about comparing numbers now? Comparing numbers, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys.